Fibromyalgia, and she does not let any of those obstacles stop her. She, I mean, my mom walks five to six days a week, if not seven. She would walk seven, except that her knees were hurting, and her doctor told her, You're walking too much. He told her to cut it back to three, four days a week, but she won't cut it back because she's addicted to walking. Um, not to mention, she says, regardless of all her pain, she feels better. Her fibro <laughs> Somebody else blowing at me. Um, she says her fibromyalgia feels better when she walks and when she moves. So I said, Deidre, your mom, she's almost 70, has fibromyalgia, three knee, uh, sorry, two knee replacements. If she can walk, surely you've had no body part surgery, just female surgery, but no body part surgery, no fibromyalgia, no arthritis, no high blood pressure, no uh, heart problems, no diabetes. What is your problem? What is your excuse? So y'all, I have to force myself to get out of the house and walk. So I got on the backpack. So I walked up to our Publix. Uh, grocery store so that I could get some um, creamer. So I got a cafe mocha creamer, um, French vanilla creamer, and uh, caramel. Caramel creamer for coffee because I got a feeling I'm gonna need some coffee tonight. And when I worked last night, my partner asked me if I wanted some coffee. And I asked him, Is there any creamer? And he said, No, because see, he'll just drink it black. Is there his own creamer? He will use creamer, but if there's none, he'll drink it black. I don't know how y'all do that. Y'all coffee drinkers that drink it black, oh my goodness. But I know it's all about what you're getting, what you're used to. I can't do that. I gotta have a little sugar, a little sweetener in my coffee. And I, I don't drink coffee much. I drink it when I feel like I need it at work. That might be one cup a week. And, and that's only in the last year, y'all because um, I've drank more coffee in the last year than collectively my whole 40, not previous 48 years. There's no exaggeration, there's no lie. But I guess as I get older and I'm busy and I'm trying to stay awake 12 hour shifts, yeah, I, I just thought about today, early before I left home, I was thinking about these 12 hour shifts. And I was thinking, I have been working 12 hour shifts since I was about 25 years old. 
So you're talking about, I don't know y'all, whatever calculation that is. I'm 49 now, 25 years. Uh, so 25 years old. How many, is that 24 years? About 24 years I have been working um, 12 hour shifts. I don't even know what an eight hour shift is like. And, but I think my body is saying, girl, you get older. You can't be doing these 12 hour shifts. <laughs> So that's why I'm starting to drink coffee a little bit more. But coffee is good, coffee is tasty, but I gotta have some sweetener. So, and although I don't drink a whole lot of coffee, I like to go and get uh, creamers. I want to have a when I do drink, but also to share. I put water to work, and I tell them anybody, anytime anybody wants some water, they're welcome to have some. I buy creamer, and sometimes I buy coffee but I'm not real good at picking out coffee because I don't know what coffee people like. But sometimes I will even, I'll take it a picture of the kind of coffee they like and I purchase it. So y'all just remember to, don't just be a taker. Don't just be a taker. I mean, if you smoke, I told you don't smoke, but I know some people do, but don't just bump cigarettes off people. You be a giver. If you, drink, if you maybe drink coffee, but you don't drink it enough, where you think you need to purchase some, don't just always drink up the coffee. Don't be that employee or that coworker who always take, 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 never give. Those of who like to chew gum, I chew gum every day. That's probably not a day out of seven days that I don't chew gum. Don't just bum gum off of people and not be the one that gives. Y'all, I said I wasn't gonna have no, this is what I declared. I said I was not gonna have no, let see what time it is, y'all. Okay, I got three more minutes. I said I was not going to be dispensing no advice. I wasn't going to be sharing no wild moments. I was going to be talking to y'all. Y'all was in the bone. It's shut up. In, it's like fight. Shut up in my bones. Sharing, encouraging, advising, unsolicited advice. It's like fire. Shut up in my bones. It's like fire. Shut up in my bones. It's like Holy Ghost fire. Shut up in. Okay. Anyways, y'all. So before, because I want to cut this off at 10 minutes, because I don't think my phone will upload past 10 minutes. So just now, little updates. What's been going on in the blessed place? Um, the other day, Tuesday, my husband and I went to a leader, a pastor and leadership conference, and it was awesome. It was amazing. We learned so much. My husband and I have been talking about this conference since Tuesday. We, our pillow talk has just been elevated. There's so much in that that we learned, that we gleaned from, that we're praying about, that we're going to be implementing as far as in our church. So that's one thing we absolutely, and I thank God for the favor because <coughs> this conference costs um, some money, but a friend of ours, who is a member of the host of the host church? He's a member of that church. He wanted us to attend and said, "Don't worry about anything. Don't worry about registration. Don't worry about the fee. I got that." Now it is a blessing to be faithful and to be thought of. It's a blessing, y'all. Yeah, and then, um, what else is going on? We had a baby shower a couple of weeks back for my niece. Uh, her baby is due anytime now. I think she's going to watch the baby. Her mom is hoping the baby comes anytime now. And what else did we have? Oh, the other night we went to Kobe's Japanese restaurant. My family and I celebrate my nephew's uh, 20th birthday. We had such an awesome time. Those of you who follow me on Facebook, I'm sure you've seen already seen the pictures. If you like to follow me on Facebook, my name is Deidre Hillary. That's Deidre with two D's, two I's, two E's.